That's right, ladies and gentlemen, another rock and roll start. A little heavy metal-ish to DYOR Live. Starting soon, any second now, but first, this awesome intro. Doesn't seem to end. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another day. Welcome to January 30th, 2024. My name is Tom, otherwise known as Striking here in the digital media world. And we've got another episode of DYOR Live on the DYOR Media Network. And we're so glad you are here sharing that with us. And of course, as usual, I've got my co-host Pedro Garcia, the crypto chart analyst in the house. Pedro, what's happening? What's up, guys? How's everybody doing? Hope everybody is doing well. Um, it is a beautiful day in my neck of the woods. Nice and gray and cloudy with a hint of humidity that would make... With a hint of Bitcoin! A, a hint of Bitcoin. <laughs> Uh, Pedro, I'm gonna get uh, I'm gonna get the uh, the old uh, social media started here. Give everyone the welcome and what is going on. Um, yeah. So if you guys don't mind, please hit that like and subscribe button, that little button down below. While you're at it, hit a comment, put a comment in the comment here on Facebook or whatever social media platform you are on, and simply all you guys need to do is go through and say where you're coming from or where you would like to be. Um, preferably, as everybody knows, I'd like to be in Santeri or in. <laughs> I'm still trying to get the uh, the Greek accent um, <laughs> it's on just the beach over happen. there, or in San Diego on the beach where I'm chilling, relaxing, drinking my mai tai, enjoying the day. That's pretty much it. Um, talk to me, guys. How was your day yesterday? And uh, yeah, just let's just get a conversation going. What up, Kachings? Good to see you. And uh, we also have a few uh, other OGs right here. <laughs> <laughs> that still gives me every single time dude. i know every so di- so it's dick. Not, it, using the whole fist there <laughs> it's, it's just space good. cad welcome to the house here space, Hello, space. How you doing? i'm gonna have to i'm gonna remake a, sp- a sound effect starting with the star trek space thing but then going into a cat's like rawr, rawr. <laughs> <laughs> um no sun today that, uh, Hold on one second. Space Cat, I identify with you. We saw the sun the other day for just a moment here in Ottawa. And uh, I, I, when I left Chicago, it was we had like three weeks with barely any sun. And to the point, if many of you notice, I wear sunglasses on my head many shows. Uh, and it's because I sit at my desk overlooks. There's lots of sun. I have longer, well, not so longer hair now, but I use it to hold my hair out of my face. I like wearing sunglasses on my head. I haven't needed them in a month. I <laughs> just... <laughs> The other day, the sun came out, and I'm like, I'm looking out the window here, and I'm like, what is this big ball of fire in the sky? (laughs) Anyway, sorry to interrupt you, Pedro, there. I'm still getting the social media behind the scenes here. Let's get her going. Chuck Jansen says it's going to be a great day today. Kicks in the $5 super chat. We're going going with the holla. Holla. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you very much, Chuck Jansen. He said holla. (laughs) But that, that holler goes on a little bit longer than I thought there. <laughs> but anyway, thank you, Chuck, very much for that. Appreciate it. Appreciate everything you do uh, to help us, not just in uh, donating uh, uh, five, new new high for Chuck there, $5, uh, but also in getting the word out and helping spread and helping get people to come watch the show and make it more entertaining uh, for us. Pedro, h- how was your evening there, buddy? It went well. It went really well. Uh, I've been looking at Bitcoin quite a bit here and just seeing um, the on, market. Hold on. Hold on. I didn't switch into Bitcoin yet. I was asking you how your evening was. Oh, oh, it went well. It went really well. I uh, did some <laughs> back testing on the market. I uh, spent quite a bit of time trying to nail out a, uh, a, uh, a strategy where I just go back and back test it like, you know, three, four years. You know, every day you just go through and talking that's about you know 1200 days 1300 days of just back testing to seeing in different markets and seeing how it reacts under different um uh, administrations you have to you have to go back there and check it to see because we're coming to a new administration right and the administration is still pro debt the old <laughs> system so you know whereas this past administration and the previous administration 
um, was just a bit different. So the markets react differently because you have different type of feds and you have different situations. You, you got to be able to make sure that if you have a good system, you want to back test it. Um, gotcha. You know, you, let let me tell you what I was back testing, what the markets were going to do during war. And if today's today's uh, um, yeah. show uh, is called a is Bitcoin a flight to safety, uh, flight to quality, fa flight to safety, whatever you want to. We'd call it and i made the graphic for the show showing a b52 doing an arc like strike on some poor saps over somewhere uh, <laughs> uh and asking the question is, is uh you know how does war affect um your fiat the value of your wealth uh and how does you know uh the the overnight news of a war starting <laughs> or a larger war starting the war widening uh, affect the market uh, and then the war didn't widen overnight. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I fully expected this morning to be waking up to CNN and all, everything else saying uh, the U.S. has bombed targets in Iran, uh, has taken out uh, the entire Iranian Navy uh, and their Air Force uh, and, uh, you know, their Coast Guard and everything else in 20 minutes last night. Uh, and in, in, retrospect, in retrospect, in response, terrorists all over the world and going crazy and, and bombing and shooting up U.S. installations and things like that. That's what I expected this morning. Well, and, yeah, I mean, but, uh, well, if you, when you expect, when you think about what actually happened within um, the judicial courts, the uh, what is, what's that called? The uh, the national judicial courts, as Israel was declared a terrorist state and going after Muslims, right? I mean, and then Netanyahu said, "We're going to do whatever it takes." We're at least, um, I mean, these Iranian government just—they're just fucked in the head, dude. Uh, it's just. But, but, but I, I'm ex saying, though, I expected expect though to, that, to be right? at war and the markets to be going yeah. crazy. And, and 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 yesterday we watched massive flights of U.S. KC-135 tankers, uh, and, uh, and and their trailing support um, th things. We watched uh, uh, aircraft that support uh, both NATO. And um, the U.S. Navy uh, moving into positions, or I should say, changing positions. Uh, these are all things that are, you know, when they when they fly on commercial air routes, they still have to identify themselves. Uh, and so that there's a whole, there's all groups of people that track these things. So I said, okay, they're setting up, uh, and and they're going to bring in the hurt. And then they didn't. So today's show is like, what happens with war? <laughs> when the, and then there was no no additional war. So we're still going to talk about that today uh, and what goes on with. Uh, uh, with the markets and is Bitcoin a, a flight to safety or not? Uh, but Pedro, I think you can start that conversation off by saying even the hint of war uh, it, and also no uh, grayscale ETF unloading anymore uh, is causing uh, the Bitcoin market to rise up a little bit here. Why don't, uh, why don't we get into BTC here? Yeah, absolutely. So one thing I always bring about, like, let's, you know, look at volume, look at volume. What's, the volume tells you it all. Are people really buying? Even though the market may be pushing up, um, we could have lack of liquidity. And if we have lack of liquidity, then if we just have some buying, it's going to push the market up. And so that's a big proponent to be able to see and pay attention to, because if, if, if I mean, if it was that simple, right, to just put, and it is that simple to push a market up. Um, just have make sure you have more than enough buying. If there's not a lot of sellers that are selling, and you have more buyers that are buying, and good morning, Drano. Thank you for tuning them, in. You're going to have issues in relationship to the market moving up, and you can see right here, like we have small amount of volume again. Like it's not even like look at this volume right here, right? Like it's smaller than that. So it's just it's not straight it's not even though it's moving up it's it's getting ready for a turnaround i mean it, it really is and i know that people are like oh the market's gone not this is remember the institutions and how they work like this is literally what they do this is their mo like literally they push the market up so people will buy the market so they can take the other side on the sell and then what happens is once they fill up their coffer dam then they wait for an area where there would be a normal amount of sellers, i.e. right here, to see it turn around. I, that's just literally what is happening. That's literally what is happening. <laughs> and I don't know how to tell people anything less than... I, I just tell the truth now. Just what I see to the truth to be for myself and how I trade. Which, uh, just, which, which chart? I think I had my mic. That was a five-minute I, I think I had my mic on mute there for a minute, actually. Um uh that was the five minute chart here the one you had um, on yeah, yeah. 
Can you put that yeah, one back on? Minutes. Yeah. Yes, the FOMC is tomorrow. And honestly, because the way we're looking at bonds and how that is all happening, um, I, I don't see them dropping rates. I mean, I, I just don't see um, – they may do a little bit of quantitative easing, right, to make sure there's money so that we don't have deflationary um, aspects into the market. But I don't see them dropping rates, you know, like I just don't. Um, that was for Drano. Um, uh, yeah, that's what I was doing. Was, hold on. I was looking for my uh, FOMC meeting notes here. Yeah. Uh, but I asked about the five-minute thing here. In, in um, Let me see if I can uh, draw on this real quick here as I uh, do, do my version of expert technical analysis here. Uh, let's see, whiteboard. Uh, okay, so where it, th there's this. Oh, okay, I moved the whole footer there. That was a mistake. <laughs> oh, Thomas, you idiot. That should have been unlock. Uh, let's see, whiteboard. Here, I'll oh. bring this down just a little for you. Let me put that up there. All right, the whiteboard. Wait, oh, there we go. Uh, er. Whiteboard. Come on, whiteboard. There. All right. <laughs> the white. Here we got this line here running through, pr pretty parallel here, and we got the, uh, the the thing here, and then we got this line here like that. It, it, is this any sort of flag on the five-minute chart of some sort, or has it gone on too long in consolidation? Obviously, this is a big, a big range here. That's forty-eight thousand all the way down to thirty-eight thousand or something, or forty thousand something like it, that. It very much could be a um, a bull flag. It very much. I'm going to go to the daily, though. The issue is with the, it. This is what you're talking about, right? Boom, push up, come down, and then pushed up. Remember what I talked to you about even wicks and odd wicks tom yep look this is the daily chart do you see it now no i'm <laughs> having a hard time even seeing your cursor where you are where you're at here okay let me highlight it Oh, look at that. And again. And then again. Yeah, that little stair step pattern there. Uh, and then the wicks yeah. on both sides of them. So this this is what I'm talking about. It's not, it's a fake out. It's a rope -a Oh, we're gonna do the, we're doing the rope -a here in the fake out. And I'm not going to sit there and say, oh, the market, like, it's just, I'd, I'd rather be honest with you guys. If I'm wrong, I, like I said, I hope I'm wrong. But it's, it's playing out. It's playing out just like they normally do in the, in the stuff. My thoughts on the SEC usual. Per Sorry, I was the wrong. That was a Hester Pierce, selling. Hester Pierce quote that I was saving for later. All right. Um, Click the wrong one. That's all good. So this is, for me, I can sit there and say, great. Now, the thing that I at least want to, I, I appreciate, at least so when we look at the, we see more favorable in the altcoins. So the altcoins are definitely showing more favor. And we pushed through the ETH right here pretty well. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of glad to sit there and see that. Um, we have that 20 period moving average, but if in comparison to Bitcoin, it's, I see Bitcoin more or less a... Um, they're just messing with people. They're just messing with people. Out. <laughs> I mean, I, and, I, and I hope I'm wrong. Yeah. It can, right, it can go, go back up. Well, I hope it goes down a little bit here because I didn't buy anything recently, and so mm. I get scared. You, 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 you uh, give me all these. Uh, the I shouldn't say just me. I should say me and the audience and all that. Give us good advice. Give us things. Watch out for this. Watch out for that. Uh, and uh, and so I'm like, all right, now. So, it was like a 38,000 or 39,000. I'm like, all right, now's a good time to get in. And But you, then we're talking about it potentially going lower. You know, we're not mm -hmm. talking about what time frame. Of course, it goes up and down and up and down. As it goes down, it goes up and down, up and down. As it goes up, it goes up and down, up and down, up and down. And, uh, so and of the, course, and of course, uh, I, didn't, I don't buy anything. And then it goes up. But if I did, so me, it would have gone down. So. so let's put it like this. Okay, and I'll, and I'll make it real clear. Okay, one. Tom, you got to stop saying if I buy, it's going to go down. I know. Stop I got to get the ne negative energy yeah, out. Yeah, yeah like, 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 I got cats on the name of Jesus. Get out. All right. <laughs> Two, um, I want to, one thing, the market, 
every time we've had a bear rally, it's always come back and tested the lows. We have not tested the lows before the bull market rally. It does that every single time. Could this be the time where it stops? Maybe. I don't mm, know. Good point. But I, it, it always comes back and tests. I'm saying. So when I start to see it come down into these levels here, yeah, I would sit there and say, all right, guys, yeah, there we go. Like we're, but I, we, it's not doing it. And here's the thing. If it was moving up and I saw the increase of real volume like I saw here, like an accumulation period of real volume, right? It's not even half. I mean, literally, it's not even half. It's maybe a quarter, if not 15% of it. I'm talking about this right here. If you look down here at the volume where my cursor is moving, I'm pulling all the way back here into July of 2022. And I would want to see that type of volume pushing the mark, at least that. I'm not even talking about this volume right here. That was crazy. Okay, you can see this. I'm just talking about what they what we saw in June of last year, June and July. We don't even have a quarter of that right now. Hmm. So this is why I'll sit there and say, mm, I don't know. I, I for me personally, I, I I'm more bearish on this movement up because it would be just a it would be a lower high until we get above right here and we put a higher high in with real volume i'm not you're not convinced this is the real thing no i'm not because we've seen historically bitcoin always come back test the lows and then push back up where where is all the volume ladies and gentlemen where did it go where's the volume <laughs> where's, so, the, to, um, where's the volume Wendy's. like where where's the beef yes Welcome, Crypto Mike. Thanks for joining the show today from the peg. That's Winnipeg to you, everyone else. Yeah, Pedro, I'm on the I'm on the I'm on the fence here about uh, uh, the short term aspects. Long, long term, I'm like it's going to 50 million at some point. <laughs> just, yeah, that's good. It's got to go up at some point. Uh, but waiting, we're just you know we sit here and talk about it every day. Um, uh, and it builds our internal anticipation faster, I think, because we talk about it every day. It builds our antici anticipation faster than it should. Uh, uh, and, and so we're like, okay, well, yesterday it did this, so today it's got to do this. Well, no, it can wait a week, or it can wait a month, or it can wait six months. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah. you know? And, and traditionally, we've seen it, seen plenty of uh, Bitcoin things wait six months to do anything. Uh, and other times it happens in five seconds. People are like, well, eventually yeah. it's going to go to 60,000, uh, and then it happened the next day. And, and, and then they're like, well, it's going to go, uh, you know, it'll go back to eight, 18,000 uh, tomorrow. And then like, it took four months. Uh, and so yeah. you never know about these time frames uh, because of that volume thing there. It's like, you know, the people behind the scenes making the buy and sell decisions. Buy, 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 buy. It was that, that red button. Buy, 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 buy. Like you see in every Telegram group. Uh, yeah. They're not doing it. They're not doing it, and the, um, and the vol so the volume isn't there. So, so what the hell? What the hell is going on here? I know. Uh, Peg City. Woo. Woo What's Peg City? Winnipeg. Oh, Winnipeg. There we go. I got you. I got you. Oh, Mike's fine. Mike, hit that like, hit that like button. <laughs> For those of you just joining uh, in here, you may be behind the live. So come join us in the live so your conversation is current. Go back and watch what you missed later. Although you haven't, the only thing you've missed is the same discussion Pedro and I have, have been having about BTC is when moon. <laughs> when moon. When moon. <laughs> absolutely. And that when moon, I believe is coming. Like, absolutely. But I just don't, I can't, I can't come in with conviction and say to my set our people, yeah, I did. Like, you know, to the moon, like a lot of these other guys do. Like, it's just not, I'm not going to sit there and, and be one of those guys. I've only done that one time in my career with a, like a mid cap to low cap um, coin. And I was trying to build connection with that community so that it could build up my community. And I felt like a cheap whore. So, <laughs> um, I felt, and, felt and, like and a cheap whore. <laughs> and from that moment on, I made a decision to be like, 
forget that. I'm not doing that no more. <laughs> Drano <laughs> says, get, kind of guess what Drano says here. Everyone um, should move all their liquidity to main net Z. Shocking. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, no, the scroller on the bottom here says this is not financial advice, <laughs> nor is Drano's financial advice. Drano's is called Hopium. <laughs> no, but Drano, we are looking for good things to come from Mainnet Z. Full disclosure, I did buy some Mainnet Z, so I'm uh, hoping it does well. Not really enough to affect the financial situation here, but enough to play with and have a little fun with. You never know if May, um, if Net Z does a thousand x, two thousand x, ten thousand x, you're you're done for the day. I mean, you're done for life. So, two thousand x would be would be it. That would be nice. Yes, but talking about liquidity, Evergrande, one of the biggest real oh. estate <laughs> companies in China, literally uh, their stock crashes twenty percent after Hong Kong court rules the um, to liquidate the company. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, there's, there's, in there, uh, this this is going to be one of the best scams of all time here. The, the, let me tell you how this is going to work. If you Evergrande had moved their headquarters to uh, Hong Kong, they're they're like corporate conglomerate headquarters there. Obviously, most of their property is in mainland China, uh, and they have a zillion like most building and development companies. They have a million subsidiaries now. The court in Hong Kong said, yeah, they're not able to make their bond payments. They got to go into receivership and let's uh, let's fix this under the court's supervision. And they're going to spin off all those subsidiaries in mainland China. Tell me, everybody, who is going to own, end up owning all of those subsidiaries in mainland China? Who? Who? That's right. All the party insiders. And guess what they're going to get? They're going to get all of these subsidiaries debt free because the, the court will discharge the the debt which is ultimately guaranteed by the government so the government will in, in essence just print some money to to do this uh and uh and then all the insiders get these uh, billion dollar subsidiaries for free <laughs> obviously i'm simplifying the process a lot there uh but uh that's how it's gonna work i made that prediction on linkedin the other day and uh it's gonna be one of the biggest kind of thefts of property uh, since Putin started stealing the nickel and cadmium mines and all that stuff uh, in Russia. <laughs> it's, 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 it's it's what a great way to do it. Just turn all over uh, private assets to state actors. It's going to happen. going to happen because that's how it works in countries like that. It's sad, man, when you think about like just the people who've gotten screwed over in that. It's, it's really sad. So... Anyway, uh, quick question. Go ahead. Uh, I, yep. I accidentally hit Drano because um, I was hitting the, some of the hearts and stuff. And um, I accidentally. Drano, can you type type something for me real quick? Did he get Drano, modded? I, I think I might have accidentally modded you, my friend. That's <laughs> my bad. I wasn't even. Because that heart's right next to, like, I was hitting that the hearts. And uh, accidentally, um, that little, you were right there. Oh, oh there it is. <laughs> yeah, and uh, uh, if you haven't been a YouTube streamer before, on, uh, on our version of the chat, uh, there's the moderator buttons. Uh, and they're right yeah. next to the hearts. It's one of those bad yeah. design things. And so if you're doing it uh, on your phone or something like that, it's right. It's click, 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 click. It's... Yeah, so it's my bad. It's... I, but, I had, um... Oh, go ahead, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. I was just gonna no, no, go ahead. I was gonna, I was gonna bring up um, the Evergrande situation. Also, flies in the face of the war situation going on because that's a lot of money leaving there. Just if they were going to try to take out Taiwan and really push, they would. It's gonna be, it's gonna hurt, right? Because they don't necessarily have that money now, and and just. You know, everything's falling apart over there. So it's, it's really interesting to see what's it was ever granted. And what was the other one that I forget that that's also another major realty company? Um, um, Evergrande and something source. Not, I don't know. Garden. Just, something Garden. Tiger Garden or something like that. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know the Garden, other one. Garden State. Well, they're also here. Garden State. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I know that's not it, but it's <laughs> they—they they themselves—they're falling apart, and so it's like 
I, you know, it's it, basically because people don't have money. And you, we see Russia right now pulling out, saying, look, we need to chill out. Because I honestly think they're about to go bankrupt as well. But, you know, <laughs> Israel's like, forget that, man. We're taking out all of these people who are coming after us. So it's, you know, <laughs> BB is definitely one of those guys that are definitely. You, you know, I, I've, I've kind of determined, you know, you know, what needs to happen is we need to have a Godfather moment. You know what happens at the end of the God, at first Godfather when Michael Corleone settles all the family business okay. and he arranges for all the other five heads of families family. to all die on the same day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and that's so that's so uh, Joe Biden is not the guy to do that. You know, and neither is the other orange hair guy either. Uh, but uh, we 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 need someone to eventually come to it and say, look, we've got problems with. This country who's funding terrorism, this country who is just a giant organized crime unit, and these satellite countries that are all their vassals, and just like one night, just be like, "All right, it's time to do the Michael Corleone thing here and be done with them." And it, just, we can't go on in the world like this, putting up with this crap. I mean, I'm going to go into my little narration here. The the war grows by day by day, day by day in the Middle East and elsewhere in the world, uh, drawing the U.S. further down. Uh, the rabbit hole of war is never a good thing. But what about the value of our wealth? You know, not just Americans by any means, but but everyone. What about the value of our wealth during war? You know, what currency is safe from the money printer or from an act of war? I mean, you know what happens during, uh, uh, during war? The government has to borrow from its citizens uh, or it has yeah. to print money. That's pretty much the only two things it can do. You know, and war is a contentious and heavy topic. You know, for sure to talk about, especially in a you know a show like ours. Yes. Uh, but what will become of BTC in a time of stress? You know, is it a flight to quality? What happens when large oh. amounts of people have no access to crypto due to no power? What if Bitcoin becomes yeah. a flight to safety for people? And the U.S. has these bombs uh, in other countries, and say the U.S. that spit out like three miles of carbon fiber, uh, Literally. with a little bit of aluminum in the middle of it of these strands or whatever. And it's just one big short circuit thing. And they just drop them over power plants and it's just bzz, bzz, the whole thing's just, they drop them over high tension lines, short circuit, short circuit, short circuit, blows everything up. It, it it's the, what it sort of is a genius invention, but it eliminates people using crypto and things like that. Yeah. You know? And so what happened, what happens when uh, large, these people don't have power? What happens when you don't have access to crypto? What happens when, you know, bombs are falling? What, ha what mm -hmm. happens well, the list is long. That we could go on with these questions all day. And the uh, people so, who use a lot of the crypto in your in the and and around the world are people in those areas that have issues with inflation, things in where, you know, like Iran. There's a lot of people in Iran who use crypto because they can't transact in, with the rest of the world, and a lot of money comes in from um, crypto. It, it's it's a real thing. I know, you know, projects. I was talking with one project owner who was literally um, one of his mods was somebody from Iran. And I said, dude, are you afraid that you're doing business with Iran or somebody from Iran? I said, it would be conceded. The guy was in Africa. He goes, well, we're not, we're not necessarily like, like America. They would definitely go after you. Right. I don't see them going after me per se, just simply because I would I could sit there and say, well, I didn't, I didn't know. Because mm -hmm. uh, we were talking. If, if you're doing Telegram. a lot of money, that's no. There's no excuse that. But if if if, if he's yeah. a national national of another country, you know that's yeah, different. Fifty dollars. It was it was fifty dollars yeah. a week. Was paying the the mod. It was interesting. Is and I'll make this quite so because it goes on to talk what you're about to say. Jack uh, Mahler, CEO of Strike, um, basically talked about Bitcoin payment network and basically just says, and I quote, "You know how people fund war? They debase your currency to go bomb people." <laughs> I'm opting out of funding war. Every bomb that America dropped isn't funded by me. You own dollars, you participate in contributing to that. And I'm like, and you know, and this is strike. Like, this isn't like a small little like, like many of us, you strike not even thinking about it because when we go through, when we participate, and, and if the government sits there and goes, okay, they shut down strike and they can't do business in America, and in, and then what if that happens? Then other places around the world then will basically say, "If America say no to you, we got to say no to you." So I mean, this is, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, this is this is a big deal. And you're talking about how do we fund war? We print money, we debase currency, 
right? Yep. Or, or, or we basically go through and we just, you know, we borrow. We, um, um, b- uh, bonds. You know, by going through bonds and 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 do and and raising bond rates or selling bonds in other places. And bonds also is what funds you to poop in clean water. You to shower in <laughs> clean water, not dingy water, or even just to have a shower is is done by bonds. Anyways, so it's just really interesting. Question on that backside. No, I just I was just put on that. I was just putting up another graphic here on the screen here. Uh, it shows that in October of last year, when uh, Bitcoin and alt started going, uh, one of the you know there's a million reasons people talk about, it, but one of the reasons why is Bitcoin or Biden went to Congress and said, "Look, uh, we're going to need significant funds here to uh, maintain military operations and expand military operations uh, in support of um, Israel, Ukraine, and all the other things that are going on." I, I mean, p- people get caught up uh, in. Uh, these two things, but we have troops fighting, U.S., meaning we have uh, troops fighting in many countries of the world uh, right now. We have them in you know, like five different places in Africa. They're taking on terrorist groups. Uh, special forces are in there giving business to people and things like that. Uh, we're in Syria right now. You know, <laughs> all these types of places. Uh, uh, that And that's expensive. Remember, the military doesn't have a profit center on it. You know, it, it uh, you know, in the large picture, it you know, it, obviously, it keeps the U.S. dollar as as the hegemon of the world, uh, but uh, you know, it's hard enough. Imagine you, you have to manage your own family. Imagine how long you could go spending money without any incoming. And the, the military has no incoming money except what the Congress appropriates them. And imagine the money that it, I mean, imagine what we could do with all that money inside our country or whatever country you're in if you're contributing to war what you could do you could build train systems you could build new highway systems you could build infrastructure you could plan for the future instead we do this uh and on that note the other countries that are screwing up the world they think they're being religious freedom fighters or liberating other people so you can steal your their stuff uh think of the money they're wasting think of the country iran is a country that has natural resources uh uh, not a lot, but it does It does have that. And it has a very good population, educated population, well-trained, skills, all this type of stuff. Uh, and they're wasting it in, in, in dealing with this theolo- theological stuff uh, about th- their role in the world. If they would just sit back and go, all right, let's forget all of this anti-everyone-sucks type stuff and America's the great devil and Israel is the great devil. Just sit back and go, all right, we need to work on our economy. We've got all these workers who are skilled. They're educated. A lot of them can speak English too. Um, let's get back to the world. Their standard of living would go up 10x in 10X. five years. Five 10X. years. They, they'd be the, the industrial engine of the Middle East uh, because of lo- location, uh, ports, infrastructure, uh, and, uh, and size of population. And not only that, well, but they don't have a blazing hot desert that limits their productivity yeah. half the year. There you go. They're an yes. arid climate. They, mm-hmm. they can kick butt, and they have. In the 60s and 70s, they kicked butt. They didn't like well, the Shah, okay, Asia. whatever. But still, if they would just stop spending money and time and wasting it, it's like it's like an organized crime family that spends 24 hours a day worrying about their adversaries when if they were studying law or opening their own business instead, you know, they would be bazillionaires, <laughs> you know? It just doesn't make any sense to me. It doesn't make any sense to me. And uh, it, Iran's one of those countries that just goes, needs to sit back and go, yeah, this isn't working, and let's start over. <laughs> you know, what's interesting is when I think about um, uh, places and times in history, right? Like we're talking like, you know, ancient Babylon, um, Assyria, right? Uh, places that, that was all in Iran area. Like literally, it's yeah. all in that same area. They have been... And, and and then you have multiple times when Iran came in during the Ottoman at on Ottoman era and just swept over all of Europe just because they have all the natural resources. So if they just if their people if their leadership was to sit there, like you said perfectly, and just say, you know what, we can set this to a side right now. But the Shiite culture, you know, they're they're a beautiful culture, but they're dogmatic on much like um uh, just, just very, very strict way of seeing the Quran, and so it's one of those things. That's how do you sit there and tell somebody who believes in a holy book that you you see wrong, because they they see life on the 
afterlife, right? Like this is just a temporary moment, whereas the afterlife is for eternity and they have an eternal reward. So how do you sit there and work that out within a culture? It's pretty you know? simple. You say, okay, here you go. And then they go to the afterlife and uh, and get their reward. <laughs> if they're not willing to participate, look, we can go into relig- a religious and th- theological discussion about this forever, and people do that, and they've fought wars from the Crusades on up to whatever. Yep. But the, the point is, is that you have, in order to prosper now, you have to live in the now, and you 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 can have hopium just like we do we did with Safe Moon for years that they they would re re moon it. Uh, and you can have hopium that some magical beast will come out of the sky uh, and fix all your problems. Uh, but but really, you have to solve your own problems yourself, down at the level of the individual. Uh, and when you blame someone else or rely on someone else, it never works. Yeah. Unless you just want to be the lowest rung in a, you know, a collective society of poor people. <laughs> just like the Argentine president was talking about uh, communism and, and socialism. And so you have to live in now and you have to fil- be able to filter out all the extraneous information, like what religion is bringing to the, to the table, you know, that can improve your life through all sorts of different ways. But when you're talking about the economy and how your standard of living is, uh, that you have to think about, all right, what are we screwing up now? We're spending all this money. We have this money, we have all of it here, and then we're wasting it doing this stuff uh, instead of investing in our own infrastructure. Anyway, in the flight to equality, uh, af- uh, flight to equality talk, this is a good good graphic here with Bitcoin, gold, the Japanese yen, and ten-year bonds uh, uh, following the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Uh, Bitcoin boom up, uh, gold uh, up one and two percent. For those of you who don't follow gold, two percent moves in gold is a lot. You know, there's huge liquidity in there, and in order to move that price, you have to get a lot of money coming in. Uh, the Japanese yen too, another uh, you know fractional reserve debt based economy, uh, but they are a stable economy, so everyone likes their uh, uh, their stuff. Uh, note the ten year bond price though, <laughs> down out of that stuff, uh, and and so you can see that the direct correlation here between going to war and the U.S. ten year bonds going down uh, and Bitcoin uh, going up, and. It, it, you know, for the longest time, people like uh, Jamie Diamond and everybody and Elizabeth Warren, scam, all they do, scam, 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 scam. But there's clear evidence. There's clear evidence that people have traded the safety and security of U.S. financial instruments for Bitcoin. Now, if you think of it like that, um, Here's another example right here. Flight to quality after Hamas attack on Israel. Uh, the, the, sh- the short term, like everything else, was, was a big thing. It was down. But the uh, the one month, up 24% for, for Bitcoin. The 10-year bonds, still still down. <laughs> still down. Uh, but the gold here it jumped 10%. And so you, you can see, this is, this is interesting, that the effect on the financial markets was greater uh, for the Israeli Hamas war rather than the Russia Ukrainian war, uh, which tells me that the everyone anticipates that the Hamas Israeli war would ha- actually have a far larger influence in the world. Interesting, interesting, but it's Audio. clear more direct evidence of uh, a flight to Bitcoin in times of uh, in times of war. Were you about to say that? Really int- no, I was going to say it's going to be really interesting to see what happens with. Hamas and with Hezbollah and are they going do you think I mean do you think they'll team up and really just uh, you know I look at it like when we had to make a decision um, with uh, uh, Japan right and we knew we were going to go through all of those caves and just basically dig them out right and World War 2 is what Paige was referring to yeah I apologize yeah I'm I'm looking (laughs) at And I apologize. Yeah, I should refer to that. Um, the end of World War II. I mean, this is, they were fighting for their homeland. They were fighting for. So this is much, uh, this, this is worse, worse because they're fighting for their religion. They're fighting for this, uh, you know, this, you know, eternal space in heaven. And it's, it almost scares me to sit there and think how many lives are going to be caused and lost in this. And, 
I mean, I hate to say it, but would would a nuke be something? <laughs> I don't even wanna, oh, we just got I mean, demonetized. <laughs> I mean, I, you know what I'm saying? You're right. We're probably dead. But you, boop, you follow me, boop, YouTube, please. <laughs> oh my God, the word, that that would that would cause an instant panic in the financial markets, and, and people would the price of gold would go through the roof. Uh, people would be cash. The ATM machines would be run dry of cash in five minutes. That would be a whole different version of panic. <laughs> there's a there's. A, it just makes me wonder. Like when I think about what p- p- possibilities are we potentially could fall into, right? That could just bring devastation. Do we have a thirty year war with Iran, right? A twenty year war with them and back in. And I know that um, you know when Biden said. Hey, you need to pull back, and BB was like, "No, we're not pulling back." Yeah, he said, we're gonna... "Look at the lessons that we learned." Well, I shouldn't say that we we the lessons we forgot to remember uh, in yeah. Afghanistan. We learned a whole bunch of lessons in in in, F, in uh, Vietnam, in Korea, <laughs> and uh, we didn't listen to them in Afghanistan. And we're and frankly, we're still not listening to them. Uh, in Syria and Jordan and, and stuff like that, it's it's so amazing that you see military tech. And I'm I'm not a military tactician, so nobody write in the comments. You never in the military, so you don't know squat. But uh, you can read history and re- look at things that we've done wrong, and then see, wait, that was judged to be wrong way back then. Why are we doing it now? Like the the base that was bombed in Jordan is a forward operating base operating in the middle of nowhere. Uh, and we send people out on patrol to patrol it and do all this kind of stuff. And they get shot and they get bombed and they get blown up. And then we do it again tomorrow. And then we do it again tomorrow. And you're like, eh. it's like, come on, guys. you know. <laughs> and then when, when we get attacked, we're like, oh, my God, we got attacked. I can't believe it. And you're like, well, you put these guys out in the middle of nowhere. It's like when we would put the guys in the middle of nowhere in Afghanistan. And like, whoa, really? We got attacked and people died? I can't believe it. It's like, it's like, come on, guys. Anyway, yeah. Anyway, let's take a quick break here, Pedro, and talk some social media stuff. Um, Absolutely. Uh, thanks to everyone that's uh, that's been tuning in uh, so far on uh, uh, on the live stream here on YouTube, uh, Twitch, and Kick. Uh, LinkedIn let us down today; it just crashed and never let me start the stream again. Happens every now and then with LinkedIn. They have so many anti-spam and anti-flooding measures that uh, once you're once you're stream crashes and doesn't work or doesn't start uh their system just doesn't let you restart it they're like nah didn't work try again tomorrow <laughs> so uh sorry to those of you all the people i advertised as joining us on, on linkedin whatever but uh for those of you that are joining us that are new here um please like comment uh follow us uh join the conversation uh let me put this back up on the screen here join the conversation uh Pedro and i trust me we can talk forever here uh <laughs> yeah, Dara says, I show up late and you guys are in a nuclear war. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, he caught us right at the wrong moment. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's nuts, man. Yeah, it's, it's, I mean, that's what we get to. It's nuts. But like I said, Pedro and I get going here, but we need your guys' input uh, on on engagement and to talk about things that you want to bring up during the show related to what Pedro and I are saying, to add your input. Uh, it, or on uh, something new, it's like, hey, discuss the uh, the border the border conflict between uh, India and Pakistan. We'll be like, eh, maybe we'll pass on that, but <laughs> you know, <laughs> but uh, but as it relates to economy and stuff like that, ask away. Help it helps the engagement, helps Pedro and I flesh out topics uh, that we talk about. Uh, and as, as I always say, uh, with because it's called the DYOR live show and DYOR Media Network. We're teaching you how to do your own research, and one of those ways is discussing a topic uh, through. Uh, and and, and kind of when you do that, you either validate your own argument or realize you've argued a bad position, uh, or you've learned something. And that's what we're here for. We're here to learn. As I always say, I use this channel for, to learn for myself, uh, and also I hope that you guys learn something too. And not only that, but by God, I hope you're a little entertained. <laughs> Like yesterday, Pedro and I had a couple laughing fits there that were good. Uh, today, we're t- talking about nuclear war. <laughs> today's, today's cover is a B-52 bomb doing an arc light, arc light strike. 
Uh, I just I just watched Apocalypse Now again, and if you if you guys viewers don't don't watch that movie or haven't watched it or don't really appreciate that movie, you you really got to spend some time. There's not a movie you can just watch watch once and get it. It's one of those ones that you need to watch a couple of times, uh, and it's just effing awesome. It's just effing awesome. What movie was this? Apocalypse Now, Francis Ford Coppola. I don't think I've seen it. Oh come on. You're a man of I, my I, age. I know. I've, well, the thing is, is I actually stopped watching TV, and I really don't pay attention to movies much unless, like, I hear a bunch of people talking about it. It was this put out was, in, like, 79 or 80 or something. Martin Scorsese. Oh, wow. Harrison Ford isn't. No, it was, uh, I think it was before Harrison Ford was in Star Wars. Um, he's only in the beginning of it. But it's the, it's the, the general story is a, uh, is Martin Sheen plays a, uh, uh, a captain in the U.S. military that has to go upriver uh, in Vietnam and kill uh, Lieutenant Kurtz, an American uh, colonel, uh, special forces colonel that has gone off the deep end uh, and started his own militia in Vietnam uh, and is cleaning up. He was doing all the things that the military was doing wrong, and he's just kicking butt and taking names, but he's gone a little mentally un- unstable. unstable. And it's the story of Martin uh, Martin's character. Uh, dealing with the the getting a getting from A to B and the mental anguish of getting from A to B. It's a, it's a great movie. It's, it's it's unbelievable. Oh yes, I love the I love the smell of napalm in the morning. Right, exactly. Okay. <laughs> Robert that, Duvall, famous line. Of, yes. Okay. Yeah, Crypto Mike watched some of all fears. Imagine that's happening. I can tell you, that some of all fears was a decent movie. The book was incredible. <laughs> the book, this, those original Tom Clancy books. Uh, we're we're just in, incredible, you know. Starting the, the original Jack Ryan series, um, Mako says the that smell, that gasoline smell, smells like victory. <laughs> it's the line from that. <laughs> anyway, so we're finishing up the right, social yeah. media thing, talking about death again and napalm. That's some great great topics today. Uh, but everyone, if you haven't given us a like or follow or a notification on the bell, please do that now. Quickly, I'm going to talk about our sponsors right below me, Camuso CPA. Uh, oh, hold on, Lolly. Let's at least get the right, uh, right Camuso CPA. Uh, right below me is Camuso CPA. Patrick Camuso runs a crypto accounting firm, and he is the person that is, like we say, we're not, not allowed to give that kind of advice. He is one of those guys that can give that kind of advice and talk about taxes and give you tax advice uh, on how to best get your taxes filed correctly when you have a, a small crypto problem or a large crypto problem, whether you goofed it up a few years ago or need to get this year's taxes done. Uh, in the links below, there's links to Camuso CPA. Please click them and get an evaluation on your crypto taxes. Obviously, this is for the USA um, uh, uh, filing with the IRS. Uh, and Patrick can help you out. Make sure you say DYOR live striking and Pedro sent you. Helps out the show when that happens. Also, uh, my friends at uh, Audit Chain. Audit Chain. Uh, our channel show sponsor, uh, Web3 Financial Disclosure, Decentralized Assurance Infrastructure. Basically, what's going on with Audit Chain is they are automating the, um, uh, the SEC public companies filings for the SEC uh, and the equivalent in Europe and the UK, Australia, New Zealand, and all these other locations and being able to go back and uh, audit them, check them. What used to take, you know, accountants, uh, many accountants weeks to do, they can do in five minutes uh, using blockchain technology. That's right. Blockchain technology can check up on TradFi companies. Ladies and gentlemen, Audit Chain, go to their website, auditchain.finance, lead to their socials, all that kind of great stuff. Thank you to Audit Chain for sponsoring us. But Pedro, we've talked about war. We've talked about uh, well, all kinds of bad stuff. Um, let's talk about some uh, some good stuff. And uh, you know what good stuff is right now? Market pumping. Market pumping. Market pumping. <laughs> let's start talking about some projects here. Let's take some uh, questions from the audience about projects. If you've got something Absolutely. you want us to review, let us know. So I was listening um, to some of the stuff that Vitalik was talking about. And uh, he had mentioned a few coins that were AI uh, specific and developing um, AI protocols that would correlate with crypto. And so I found it really interesting 
Um, so he named off like four of them. So one, I just want to highlight kind of what he was bringing up. Um, this one right here is Singularity Net. I don't know because I didn't fully research the companies last night because I was doing other things. But this is one of the ones I'm going to start following here as well. Uh, it's something because I think, and I think he was right, you know, as money starts to get poured into um, AI projects and developing AI. I mean, we're having ChatGPT5 coming out here shortly and Sam Altman with his... Um, his interview in Davos, kind of, quite a few of them really talked it talked it up, saying it's going right. to have a lot more capabilities and its ability to really move things and and really. What's just that hope. say fetch up there? Fetch yeah. AI. Yep. Yeah, so this is fetch AI. So basically, this was the one that was AI that where you would walk around and it would tally everything for you, and you got paid just to move, right? Um, but right, I remember it also acted and i think what's so interesting about this though is 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 it the move the move that it came and sold off and then seeing it really started to capitalize on this market move as we're moving up is really interesting to me just simply because from a market cap it's still fairly small and it's you know and it's and it's a you know it's a decent company or i say it's a decent company because i i hope that vitalik wouldn't just you know it's, it's not just chilling <laughs> He might have been shelling. I mean, you know, he probably bought into these and, you know, he's a smart man. So, but either way, I think if you bought into them, there's just, it's, it'd be decent. So you have the Singularity one, um, Singularity Net, uh, which is AGIX. And, uh, we, you know, we've come down, we bounced off that 200 pure moving average. So we'll see, but again, you know, low volume here. Um, in comparison to a volume up here that we see moving this up. So I would expect this to see another sell off into this area. And then, a G I X. Um, Gotta write these down here. Singularity Dow. Yep. Singularity Dow is another one I was looking at. And it's S D A. Actually, you know what? Let's let's put this and I think these are good. And I know we I know we were talking about this the other day, right? Ones that you'd be looking at. You know, I think the internet cryptocurrency ones are a smart play just simply because there is so much money pumping it to it you know um internet uh, so tell me what internet. sda is singularity dow yes singularity dow yep it's another one again i just did a quick little research on it but i don't know in detail so i'm going to hold off on what i know about him as so far because i read through it you know like a quick reading so i don't I try not to uh talk about it you know i'd rather get to know it and be part of the community see what it's like yeah um also the other one here is um uh, render token it's another one it, which is a internet and this one here did a little pump i think because of um vitalik but what's its, it's uh, symbol uh, um that's going to be r n d r render a token yeah render token yep and so just going through and checking this out um i uh i think what's really interesting is just him really you know he talked about singularity um uh, net ai and i don't think you know i maybe he i mean he's been in crypto for a minute so but i i i think partly that when he goes through and he's saying these people um and I actually i'm just going to put these through I'll, I'll put them in the um the uh what's that range on the uh on render there we're looking at uh let me turn this btc off. um this right here, now granted, I'm just, just full disclosure, I have not bought any of these. I'm not, you know, I'm looking to capture it at a lower rate. I'm not, you know, me, I'm not going to buy something just because it's been pumped. <laughs> uh, but that range, I would say, is between uh, $4.39 um, and I would say three thirty six is the range. So it's about a buck. Oh, I thought, I thought it was going to be like 100% gain or something like that. Oh, no, um, from the low thirty six. Yeah, it would have to be six. Show me the rest of that chart. Did it? Was it a pre mooner or is it? Oh, I hate yeah, that. No. I hate that when they, when it just sells off right from the start and all the insiders sell. That's the only. Can, no, like, I, no, I don't can think anyone this tell is us? Can anyone tell us a reason why when a project launches, all the liquidity that people put in it and the start just sells off? Well, this was in 2022 um, in December, so we were still in the bull market here. Yeah, yeah, okay. And, what are they paired so, with? 
Just USDT? Um, no, there's a few pairs with it. Um, uh, let me see if how I did a non fiat pair do? Like, how did did it did they, did they yeah. are they uh, paired with BTC? Yeah, let me see. Let me see oh. if I can pull this up <laughs> here real quick. Uh, like I said, I haven't done much research, but I know that Vitalik did uh, shill him a little. And um, I don't think he's going to show crap or he'll come back to him and bite him in the butt. Um, but either way, let me see ours. USD, Binance. I'm going to assume Binance would have some. Let's see further. No. So, yeah, it looks like they. Uh, for we're in RNDR, RNDR, where are you at? I mean, probably one of the biggest things I hate is when a, a new project starts and it sells off. It and I, and I use that I use that uh, the analogy when talking about uh, um, things like um, um, a startup business. Like you start up, say a, a coffee shop. You you, you and your buddies pool some money together. You have a pre-sale, uh, and, and then you start start your business up uh, and. Uh, you know, on day five, oops, that's not what I wanted. Uh, on day five, uh, someone shows up. Uh, God darn it. Why is that still on there? Uh, there we go. So on day five, someone shows up and says, I want my money. I want my money back. And, and you're like, well, yeah. wait, we just, we just got, you just gave us the money to start the company. And we just, today we poured our first coffee. Uh, we still got to take delivery of all the chairs and we got to, still got to hire two more employees. You're like, well, I want my money. It's my money. Uh, I put it in, and I have the right to sell it and get take it out. And you're like, no, no, that's not how startups work. Startups, you you give the money to them, uh, and you hope for a long term gain on it. And you go, nah, nope, sorry, I, I'm gonna. Uh, well, I used to say another word that rhymes with heat, uh, but uh, that, sorry, t- taking heat. your money out. <laughs> it, well, let me put it like this. <laughs> and, and, and so it, I I just hate it. And you look at it, you say, you say that that was a poorly managed start. Poorly managed wait. expectations, you know. So let's, I, just, I just don't. Wait, I don't agree with it at all. Just, I agree with you being jeets, um, but this one actually started at point zero five, so at five cents, five five seven five, and it has gone all the way up to um, uh, four dollars and seven cents, and at its peak, it was about seven dollars. So, um, started at not, five cents and went to seven dollars. Yeah, that's a nice yeah. 35x. That's a, yeah, yeah. Any stock person would be happy with that, right. Like, this would be their <laughs> that would, biggest that would get a stock. yeah, Woo. <laughs> and we're like, oh, that's a decent 35x. <laughs> <laughs> like the only crypto. We'd be, we'd would be, only we'd be going be to the crypto. bar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that is so good. Dude, and here's the best part, right? Like, like you would sit there, like, I've heard people literally say, oh, I only got, um, I only got a thousand, or not a thousand, I only got um, 10x. I'm like, you know, that's a thousand percent, right? Like, <laughs> like, like and you got it in like, two three days dude. right like do you not, get not that? over like, the lifetime of your pension fund <laughs> <laughs> you got it you got it you did that on sunday and on tuesday you cheated out and you're like whoop took 10x <laughs> i'm trying not to use that word sorry it's a it's a great word but there's certain part certain certain people think it's an insult to them and i'm sorry if it is everyone's yeah. sensitive we'll, we'll call things. it feet we'll call them feet we feed it run. Just, we need, <laughs> we need a, we need to come up with a better word to replace that one. That's not somebody around the yeah. world doesn't insult isn't insulted by yeah, it. Like so we gotta be careful. I was trying to figure something else to call it then just you know. I mean, we can um, just use something like a you know an asshole feet. or something like that. But then YouTube gets upset. <laughs> YouTube gets upset with those things, and if I say that too many times, yeah. we get derated. Yeah. Uh, so uh, we'll just call it feeded because you're running out, right? You're running out. So we'll right. call it feed, feeded. Oh, that's no, nothing but shoe leather express. Shoe leather <laughs> express, baby. Shoe <laughs> leather. S and S S and L. Shoe and leather. <laughs> uh, I 
retards in your general direction. <laughs> yes, dude. Yes. <laughs> your mother was a hamster and your father smelt of elderberries. <laughs> elderberries. Dude, that part, then they start throwing over the cows and all the... <laughs> Burn, run away, <laughs> run away. <laughs> It's like the best. It's oh, and, so and our audience is dead quiet silent on it. Oh, dead quiet. Nobody <laughs> even knows. Are we talking to ourselves? Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah. Uh, doctor! <laughs> Thanks, Doctor. Appreciate it. Oh, man. Oh, so good. I've been waiting so to use good. those for a while now. But so, you know that that that's like uh, you know the the people that uh, leave a project yeah. uh, early on. They're they're the ones, uh, uh, as they say. Uh, uh, running off with the money, t- ruining the the liquidity of your of your startup. Uh, uh, SNL. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, that's, that's shoe the, that's shoe the leather call. express. Shoe leather express. There we go. I love it. You know what I'm gonna do? I've you got the, I've got the BTC watch list. Oh, not the BTC watch list. The the general watch list. What I'll do is I'll make a watch list of these AI things uh, like yeah. that, and so we can put that up on the screen and see how that portfolio is doing. Oh, yeah, exactly. I've been meaning to really sit down and go over that sector and really kind of just uh, find just little gems in it. And I just I I really want to finish this. Um, uh, what do you call uh, this back test of this strategy I've been looking for? So, you know, the the strategy is always and one thing about a trader. You know, if if they're real traders, they're always back testing, either back testing and and refining their current strategies, or they're back testing to find um, new ones to to even see if they can take part in other things in the market. So, um, and that's and this is one of them, right? This is definitely one of the ones I want to back test, is simply because, you know, I don't see this going away. I don't. You know, there's so and ground. You're always going to run into, um, you know, people who are going to be fake accounts, right? And it's it's sad, but it's you know, it's honest it's truth. So, but in the back end, though, I, 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 <laughs> dude, that is, dude, I love it. Where did you get those, dude? Why haven't you used those? Are like, I, love I, them. I when I redid my stream deck setup, they have a plugin for sound effects, and it brings brings a lot of these things in auto, auto magically oh. and so <laughs> magically <laughs> magically delicious dude just a flesh wound <laughs> just a flesh wound i'm your king <laughs> well, i didn't vote for you <laughs> i'm your king but i didn't vote for you i know that's the purpose of a king <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> just, like, I, they just go on. but a scratch <laughs> you gotta put that are you gonna bleed on me what are you gonna do just a flesh wound. Oh, wait, what's this one? Oh, this is my uh, brain hurts. I think that's from Life of Brian. I think. Yeah. Oh God, all of those movies are fantastic. For you younger people out there, if you haven't watched, if you haven't watched the, the Monty Python movies, never mind their whole thing. But Life of Brian, a uh, Holy Grail, uh, in the uh, I forget what the other, the third one is. Um, the, the Holy Grail is one of the funniest movies of all time, and it's one you have to yeah. watch seventy times to get it. Uh, to yes, get the humor, yeah, and it's, you have to like you have a, to understand a little bit about history and a little bit about uh, governments around the world and methods you know of government, and you have to just be ready for just dumb shit. And, I mean, yeah. the, the, no. how, how do you explain no, a rabbit yeah, that right. kills soldiers? I mean, how do you explain yeah, that? Exactly. We will get the holy hand grenade of Antioch. <laughs> <laughs> Read, read the Bible once through one time, or just listen through it. You'll a lot because a lot of uh, biblical references. They might, yes, a lot of them. They do it so well, dude. Like it's like that's like I remember one time she's a like, witch. I was sitting in the bathroom. <laughs> she's a witch. How do you know she's a witch? What what did he say? Uh, look at her. She's a witch. <laughs> but you've put a carrot on her nose. Oh, okay, we might have done that. <laughs> she turned me into a newt. You don't look like a newt. I got better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, we can go. We can go on that all day as our as our viewership shrinks. <laughs> I know, right? Dude, honestly, I think we probably we need to start marketing more to like Generation Xers and uh, maybe Generation Wise. Uh, I mean, that's, that's right. really I mean, yeah. I, I 
agree with you. That's why some days I wear a, a collar shirt, some days I wear a black t-shirt, graphic t-shirts and stuff like that. Yes. See, see what doing doing A-B testing. For those of you listening, if you are purely entertained, feel free to hit the like button and or the hearts or yes. whatever. Uh, and, and if you're like, oh, these old fucks, well, you know, what, the, what the, <laughs> the hell are they doing? Uh, do the same thing. Just make fun of us. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. do the, just make fun of us. Get the little thumbs down. We are okay with that. Uh, and, anyway, you know, Pedro was talking about some new things today. Uh, let's just re, re let, let's go back o- o- over them again here. Let me see. I saw that you posted it. Uh, Singularity.net, A-G-I-X. Uh, fetch, which is F-E-T. Uh, fetch. Uh, and Singularity DAO, S-D-A-O. Is it S-D-A or S-D-A-O? Um, it is S-D-A-O. All right. I had that wrong. Uh, and Render, or or. R N D R. Render is what my computer does this entire time, rendering this great picture you're watching. <laughs> Ooh, exciting. Nice. Darren says, release would wiki. <laughs> I don't need, I don't recognize that one. Would wick re, re, release would wick. We we lease we lease would oh we were talking about um the uh my the Python. Oh, he's gonna tell us. I love Chuck says, uh, "I love this." All right, thank you, Chuck. Thanks for release thank, Roderick. Thanks for validating or release Roderick. Roderick, there we <laughs> go. <laughs> oh man, I'm glad you guys are entertained. Are you not entertained? <laughs> are you not entertained? <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah. So we've got some. I, I I've been looking at these, and I'm gonna start picking up more of these because I I really want to become more abreast with what's going on here I, I really do see just like with what's when we see i mean i, I do see some form and maybe not yet but i i do think that sooner or later i mean it'd be silly not to for them right for um open ai to create their own coin like legit i know sam allman was a part of world coin and a lot of that was actually happening but um right i think it i think it'd be silly for them not to have their own coin I mean, it's just extra um, income coming in. And if they were to simply just buy and burn, people would just, I mean, it just, it, it makes sense, you know, for me um, to to be a part of that, you know. And so sooner or later, I'm trying to stay up abreast with that's going on. Um, but overall, um, they look fairly strong. You can see here at, at its peak, it's almost at least halfway um, running up from where it where it, where it started. And this is RNDR. Um, it's pretty much above all the moving averages. So uh, this is a good sign of strength coming in. I wish we had a little bit more volume, but it's fairly good volume in comparative to the consolidation period. You can see here that we're definitely a little bit above than here. So that's a good sign for um, RNDR. Um, I would, I hate to say, you might, 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 you know, nobody wants to hear this, but wait for a pullback to get in at these lower levels here. Uh, you, you have a... a well, the really reality, and y'all are not going to like this. I already know. Um, down at the stuff right here. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, nobody likes to wait. You know, nobody no. likes to wait. We want those but X's these, tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Baby needs new shoes. But baby new new shoes. Come on, baby. <laughs> um, but in the same sense, uh, these are still good areas to look for retracement back into just simply because – it is. Uh, give me one sec. Where's my monthly demand? Monthly demand. Oh. Come on. Come there on, baby. Let the good times roll. All right. Here we go. So that like around that um, two dollar mark. I know we're sitting at four dollars. So we would have to retrace um, almost one hundred percent, but or fifty percent of its value. But I would look to see something like this. This is a previous high and coming down into a demand zone where we have that eight period moving average sitting. Um, it's that monthly zone. And again, it's that 50, 50% retracement. Many times we'll see it after a big push where we'll see a 50% retracement. So look for something like that in this levels here. Um, and this is RNDA. Uh, something to just be paying attention to. What's um, RNDA or RNDR? Oh, excuse me, RNDR. Thank you. I, I forgive me for that. Um, um, but the reality is the resistance on this one isn't until, I mean, isn't all the way until we get to about uh, $5. Uh, that's the next resistant area here. You can be mindful of. Boom. 
That's right. Uh, what is this uh, crypto hopper? This render. Like mm -hmm. uh, place this in here for you guys real quick. Nice little resistant. Hmm. Supply. I dropped a... Oh, that, why, why, that didn't work out right. What the hell did I just do here? Thomas, you idiot. What the hell are we supposed to do, you moron? <laughs> yeah, stop that, bro. <laughs> you talk, your your self-talk, bro, is atrocious. Man. You need to work on that. Which like, one is it? Was dude. that uh, Blazing Saddles? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Please don't get into the Blazing Saddles yeah. lines. Welcome, Marty Python friends. Nice. <laughs> Release Roderick. Boom. All right. Do Singularity. Singularity has a little sell off. Oh, then I spelled friends wrong. Great. I'm an idiot. Oh, dude, this is bad. This is actually sad for Singularity. Um, dot net for Dow. You can see here, man. They didn't see anything. All this. Oh no, this isn't coming through. Why? USD, USDT. Let's see if it has anything here. All right, boom. Yeah, ooh, it didn't even do much. Ouch. Singularity now. That looks like it's just dumping off. This should be. This should be rallying. What's the, uh, the, the or over here? The show this gr big green pump right here. Was that when Vitalik mentioned them? No, Vitalik just recently mentioned them, like a couple of days ago. <laughs> oh, he's, he's definitely not Elon when you mention something. Definitely, definitely. But Which one? This I one is he, Singularity Dow? Yeah, it's a Singularity Dow, yeah. Well, let me let me get that right here. That one's uh, S-D-A-O. Yeah, S, that's Sierra Delta Alpha Oscar. Sierra Delta Alpha Oscar. Oh, I was trying to add these into this little uh, widget thing over here. Yep. It's not not working. <laughs> it is all good. Yeah, but I was looking at these. So I think sitting right here at large, just looking at this, I could sit there and see. We could see this come down. Um, well, it's a new, a new group of uh, new group of things. The AI crypto yep. projects. And now, I got I got to tell you, my direct messages are, are full of scammers trying to pump all oh, sorts of oh, AI-based Ponzi schemes. Yep. Got another one here today. Uh, let's see, where 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 is it here? Was this guy Daniel Arthur? All caps. Almost every time, it's all caps. The name. Mm -hmm. I, I don't even have to read it. I just know. Oh, this is a scammer. So he's he's. This is how we. I, I should show this on the screen, but I I would have to do too much to get it on does he, just, does he say good sir or sir he says hello and you're like sir so my response is just tell me what you're selling what's your referral code and he says he just responds how are you i'm like mm, this might be a bot i said are, he says are you in the crypto space or an investor only them ask for this i'm daniel i'm sorry i didn't mean to bother you actually i'm a newbie in this telegram app a little bit stranger you're a little bit stranger right i said just tell me what you're showing he says, have you heard of Octal Capital, a mining investment company? I said, I'm sure it's a Ponzi. I, re I report on them on my show, Rugged Ruined and Wrecked. It's, it's been a trading company that you invest with crypto. The company has been operating since 2015. You go to their website and you find their, uh, uh, their, find their domain name. Go run the Whois lookup on it. They registered their domain like four weeks ago. <laughs> you know, been around since 2015, yet we just created our first website and DAP last week. No, this is not a Ponzi scheme. The minimum deposit is just $100, and you earn 15% per day. 15% per day. That's the scammer in my uh, things. In your voice. Wouldn't that be great? 15% 15 per, day. per day. That would be amazing. <laughs> imagine, imagine, how, imagine how fast you'd be a billionaire. That's actually, that's actually, I wonder what the, hmm. He's got me thinking now. If you put in one cent, and fifteen percent every day. It let's see. Let's and, see. Hundred. Let's just do it. Let's just do the math here. Uh, equals uh, uh, this times point. I don't know. One point. 
Uh, one five. This is not. I could just use one of the compounding websites, but that's no fun. Uh, equals. <laughs> ra- rather make a complicated spreadsheet. And then let's just draw this down here. You would have uh, a lot of money very quickly here. Oh yeah, dude. Like fifteen percent a day. Dude. That is just. I mean, you're happy. You're happy if you get fifteen percent a year. Right. <laughs> Yeah, in uh let's see, when would you have a million dollars? Uh a billion, total. Would you have a billion. <laughs> a billion. Oh, I, screwed, I screwed this up. Uh let's see, five thousand, ten thousand, twenty thousand, uh, seven hundred and well that's seven million. <laughs> it's, it, this is only about I'm working out like, like a month here. Let's see, day two. Man, that's that's some serious cash. Fifteen percent. That's all you need to do. Fifteen percent per day, and you too. Let's see. And in uh, eighty days, you would have uh, seven hundred thousand dollars. Eighty days is so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just I'm having so much fun here. <laughs> Imagine. Yeah. No problem. Uh, and in one hundred and six days, you'd have two point seven million. No problem. Yeah, that's just in one quarter. Much? You know. <laughs> starting with how much are we starting with? A hundred dollar? bucks. Hundred bucks. Hundred bucks. There we go. Hundred bucks. Then you have one hundred and fifteen. Then you have one thirty-two. Then yeah. one fifty-two. One seventy-two. Yes, thank you. Two hundred one. Two hundred thirty-four. Ten thousand. Twenty thousand. Two point seven million. No problem. What do you got on the screen there? That's that back to render. I got the wrong thing. Yeah, yeah I still yeah, got SDI. I was just looking at the daily. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so we're starting at one hundred. Are one hundred dollars, and uh, what we're doing is a compounding it on uh, on a daily basis. Mako says, so. "Assign me up." Dara <laughs> says, "My fortune teller says I shouldn't trust the crypto scams." I don't think your fortune teller needs to tell you that. Starting at one hundred. Is that compound interest? Uh, I'm not compounding it properly. I'm just multiplying uh, e- each iteration by one point one five, and and it's it's a. It, I guess technically it is compound because I would have done say, every yeah. day was a period. Uh, and so uh, I, I was doing 15% per day, not not 15% yeah. APR, you know, compounded yeah. daily. 15% per day. Daily, daily, daily. You know, I, I remember when I first started in crypto, and as most of you know, I have a long, longer history in the financial markets. And I was watching the price moves of stuff. I'm like, wow, that stuff went from one cent to two cents in one day. That's 100%. Like, all I need to do is like one trade a day and just make 100% a day and then, you know, sitting in the catbird seat pretty soon. <laughs> Next thing you know, we're like, wow, how did my wallet get empty? <laughs> That's exactly it, dude. That's exactly I was actually talking to a friend. You got construction going on there again, Pedro? I do, I do, I do. So, Are you living on the streets? Uh, are you are you are you stealing power from a construction site and, and working in the? How, how, did, <laughs> how did you know, dude? Oh my goodness! <laughs> are you looking over my shoulder here? No, they're still working on the uh, stuff over here. So I had to move out of my current um, office, and they needed that. So then I had to. I am now in a trailer, uh, which is actually like <laughs> actually awesome like i actually wish i would have done this instead of spending all this extra cash on like an actual office that's only for me i should have just moved in here but i wanted the the uh to say oh i got an office come sit down and the only people i've ever had come over are just friends and we just hung out and honestly this like i'm paying like half of what i normally would be paying and i'm like dude i should have just moved in here this is just cool like it's like i don't know i whatever it doesn't matter uh yeah but um so they're still doing a bunch of work over there and all right what like, just quickly one of the reasons why we have a little little pump today here um simply bitcoin is reporting fidelity bought fifty thousand bitcoins today um which is a significant amount of money um and especially for the fomo crowd uh, the fomo crowd will fomo behind that and the day traders will will trade the shit out of that news yeah, they will. Yes, they will. Uh, job openings. Yeah. Benjamin Cohen's reporting job openings ro- rose slightly to nine million. That's a lot. That's a lot of open jobs. But I got to tell you, I've looked through a bunch of them um, uh, over over time, and almost all of them are crap. 
It just, you know, I don't mean I'm not belittling anyone's job. I mean, the job postings are crap. Um, like a, a good example, uh, I was looking for one a while ago. Before Pedro and I got serious with this show, I was like, well, you know, let's let's look around and see what uh, how else striking's uh, talents could be utilized. And there was one one job opening that I thought was was pretty cool, and I ended up posting on LinkedIn about it, how ridiculous it was after I read the description. And the, it was the equivalent of saying, uh, "New crypto startup, all the most awesome stuff ever. Got a great team behind us, and this is the candidate we're looking for." And and it was so ridiculous what they asked for. I equate, I made an analogy to a sport, a, a, a sports team. And saying, um, you know, we're we're a sports management group, uh, and we're looking for an a, a, a entry level person for our group. Not entry level, a mid level management person for our group. Here's the requirements: uh, you must have been a major league baseball player. Okay, okay. Well, there's a lot of sport sports guys out there, ex baseball players. Uh, you must have been the winning pitcher at the World Series. Okay, that li- limits it down to a few more. Uh, also, you must have been. Uh, I, uh, an all-star quarterback for the NFL. All right, well, I can't really think of anyone <laughs> that has done both. Uh, and also, uh, to, to mix things up a little bit, you also have to have played for a Premier League football team. And like, oh, these requirements are getting a little stiff. Uh, and then I added on to it. I said, you also have to be uh, the world champion of darts. <laughs> and be, a, a, and if you know this one, a, a, a ruby level in, uh, in, in bridge, in uh, contract bridge. Uh, and the job description was so crazy that we want 10 years example of this, 20 years this. You must be a star in this industry of this and that, and this kind of stuff. And and then they're like, you know, for an industry that's been around 10 years. <laughs> it's just it's just one of those things, and I, I, I loved it. And so these job opening things, I, I, it's not on the screen anymore, but the job opening thing down, down here has gone to $9 million. Uh, there's a lot of crap jobs there. A lot, of, a lot of BS jobs. A lot of these job boards, they post multiple jobs, just seeing what resumes they get in from their competitors and things like that. It's a big, uh, as they say, it's a big scam. So in other words, I'm telling you this, don't rely so much on job openings uh, and things like that because it's switched from being a very good harbinger of the unemployment rate uh, to just being an, another bit of noise. Uh, I would say, add it. You know, if you're someone that trades in economic factors, Drano was asking about the um, the, the Fed's open market committee and things like that. Uh, don't use one factor as like your it's like, oh my gosh, job openings are up. That means blah 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 blah. It's just one bit of noise, uh, and like all the noise in the markets lately, lately, very few of them got have gotten better over time. Most of them have gotten worse over time. Uh, <laughs> just. <laughs> because it's the nature of humans to make things worse. <laughs> anyway, where'd we leave off? Uh, uh, what did we leave off with there, Pedro? So, well, the, the reason why I said is, I, I just want to throw this out, just so you know, the reason why it's gotten worse is not because the job industry has gotten worse, because of the uh, actual, I'm going to say not actualized, uh, the, the, ram- now, why am I saying all the things that, the, the the criteria there you go wow there use your words pedro um you, the criterion which they used in the past no longer is being used today and so they go through and then they go and and because they follow these certain they, they keep making it much la the the parameters in which they use it becomes very if even when it starts to make them look bad then they remove more of the criteria and add more fluff in and to replace that. So now you're looking at a lot of these, uh, you know, real statistics that do come out, but the criteria in which that is that are used do not actually quantify the real statistics that we need to use to um, gauge the economy. Right. And so it's just one bunch of fluff, a bunch of fluff. And, you know, I think our audience know that. So if people are watching this on the replay and they're checking certain things out, just understand, like, it's, you know, like, if you don't know that, if you're you know, a 19-year-old guy, 20-year-old guy, and you're looking at the, you know, um, uh, crypto.com, right? Or not crypto.com, excuse me, investing.com, and you want to check out the, um, the reports that are being displayed, a lot of those are fake. And then the ones that do come out, right, they revise those. 
And then the ones that were revised, they revise it again in two weeks. And then, and then in a month or two, they revise it again. Normally, it's, on average, it's three revisions. Like, this is nuts. So it's, I think it's just, it's, it's an interesting time that we live in. Like, it just really is. It's like, we're good is bad and bad is good. And, you know, a, a monarchy can sit there or I, I mean, a president or a prime minister. I mean, excuse me, forgive me for that. Can sit there and, <laughs> and, and rewrite history in a sense. And you're just like, no, but we're, I mean, the, the emperor is naked. <laughs> the emperor has no clothes. <laughs> the, the emperor has no clothes here. Like, we all see this, right? Like, I can see his man boobs, right? You see it? Yeah, yeah, there's no clothes there, right? So it's, and yet they want to say, no, I'm wearing clothes. And anyways, <laughs> that's my rant. I, 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 well, it's good. It's good to have a rant. I've got, I usually have one a day. But on, on a side note, the emperor's new clothes, uh, or the emperor has no clothes, emperor's new clothes, emperor, it was one of the few Sinead O'Connor songs that I liked. I don't know who actually wrote it. She just sang it on her famous album. Um, fun fact from way back in the day. I always think about, um, whenever I think about Sinead O'Connor, I always think about nothing compares <laughs> to you. A Prince song, but she did it very well. But she screwed yes. up her life big time. Uh, obviously, mental health issues we get. I'm not going to talk bad about her and that kind of stuff. But one, one day, I was in, because you know most people know I live in Chicago um, half the time. Uh, I just wake up one morning and the, the headline in Chicago in the Chicago news that morning was Sinead O'Connor was found walking in a stupor in a suburb just north of the city, an old suburb called Wilmette. And, but she wasn't like on tour in the area. She just, she just found, found in Wilmette. And like the last place she was seen by her friends was in Ireland. <laughs> and people are like, what do you mean? She's just fa- found in a Northern Chicago suburb kind of, out of her mind <laughs> that's when you're like oh this isn't gonna last long and then it was you know you know very shortly thereafter you uh as they say her estate planning case had matured intentionally <laughs> yeah but you know what's funny is those talented people who are legitly talent i mean like look at what was a amy ryan uh ryan hart um amy winehouse winehouse wow it was really hard. i don't know why um you know, like she was, dude, I loved her music. She's phenomenal. I mean, she was such a great artist, you know, and she would just go all out. Yeah. You know, I was like, that's what, you, you know, when you're at that, when you're that skilled, it, I feel like, like the universe or God, sister Kate, listen, you can't, you can't be beautiful, talented and right in the mind. You just, that's too much. Like you can't have that much talent. You know, it's, it's just. I don't you know. I like. <laughs> go ahead. He's like, I don't have that talent. <laughs> like, I, right. oh. Very few. No. I mean, Michael Jackson went off the deep. The only person who really didn't go off the deep end, and he seemed like he was off the deep end, but he was just very forward thinking. Was Prince, right? Like, he's the, what other like beautiful? He, he talent just rocked it. He was, he was just awesome. And you see him like do all. You see him do all his regular Prince stuff and all that. And then you look back and you see all these other, other other uh musical get-togethers where he comes on and he just plays the guitar uh and, he's, and he rips it and you're like what? Yeah. What? We, yeah. i grew up with purple the album purple rain, purple and, rain. and the movie purple rain purple and we were all in high school and we're like oh it's so awesome oh he loved his girl and, and uh it was, it was incredible but then you see him like just rocking with bands at bars like it was somewhat intentional and things like that. There's a couple of videos of him going to Minneapolis bars and things like that. And you're just like, holy shit, this guy is good. This guy is good. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Pedro and I have been rambling on today. Uh, tomorrow we've got uh, the DYOR exchange coming on. We've got Marcus and I think uh, his co-founder, Alex, uh, coming on to talk about uh, their new decks. Uh, their new decks is a... Uh, a twist on things, not just a swap and launch and stuff like that. Uh, it's a social media app, uh, and it's uh, in- intended to be able to simply uh, invest in a number of things uh, at once by swapping uh, some of your money into a bunch of things at once, you know, uh, or individual things. It- it's like, you know, kind of, we'll just say a Tinder like thing swipe left, swipe right, uh, if you like something, if you don't. Uh, and it's. <laughs> Frankly, it seems to be the ultimate FOMO machine. Uh, but um, 
Uh, it also takes user-generated content, meaning uh, people have accounts on it, and you can upload, um, uh, upload stuff, you know, uh, follow other people, make your own lists of things. Uh, people can comment on them, portfolios, port winner portfolio of the day, all this kind of stuff. I'm kind of learning about it. Uh, and those guys will be on tomorrow uh, also at, at noon Eastern time, 5 p.m. UTC, 6 Central. Uh, and for you Australians, it's still way out in the future sometime. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, so we'll have them for you tomorrow. Uh, should should be a good show. Um, uh, just a little different. Bring something new. I thought the social social media app thing. You know, obviously no. It's called DYOR Exchange. No relation to DYOR uh, Media or any of the DYOR tokens that have existed in the past or exist today. Anything like that. Not shilling anything or getting paid to shill. Just thought it was interesting to see a new bent on the decks, the social media uh, decks type thing uh that's tomorrow uh pedro uh let's see what other projects should we cover today for everybody i'm sure chuck is sitting there waiting for us to cover the the, the movements of cardano and things like that yeah we'll go check out cardano here in a second go to ada ada yeah there we are all right so ada again um like i've said even though i know we we've oh, here we go we moved up um, like I said, I, I expect us to see us coming down here. Um, uh, we it depends if we can get through this twenty period moving average. I do expect us to push through it. Um, again, we actually have a lot of volume coming to the downside here, and uh, as we are moving throughout the day here, just on the five minute, you can see here that we just keep putting in lower highs and lower lows. And it's following the moving averages. And it's the, the real trade is actually happening um, on the, where is it at? Four, no. Ch Chuck's rooting for it to come down. He says, come on down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wants to come down yeah, to yeah. these uh, these level, I guess these green levels here. What price price level is that the, where your bars are? Uh, these levels here at that 48 cent mark. But come this on is, down this to 48 is... cents and you can be the next contestant. Uh, the price is yeah. right. It's that 48 and then... But he's really worth. We're, I mean, it's, we still should. And here's the thing: if this stops here, it puts in another lower high, which will then put in a lower low. So it's one of those things as we start to move here, um, you know, because the market never just goes straight down, right? Unless it's 2008 and uh, it's a real bad day for <laughs> um, Lehman Brothers. But apart from that, <laughs> it's. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know where they came from, dude. <laughs> it just popped right in my head. Yeah. But majority of the time, it's more of just kind of, you know, stair-stepping um, while Chuck's we're Chuck's on kidney down. clearance levels. <laughs> <laughs> Why is Chuck on dialysis? Sold the kidneys. Buy Cardano. <laughs> Sold the kidneys. He's buying. He's buying. Who's that big buy right there? That's Chuck. He's on our show. He's pretty awesome. <laughs> <laughs> he's a doctor he just did it himself he didn't even have to pay for it you know <laughs> he had he had clients <laughs> okay we're gonna move on it's moving on someone in the urgent um, care clinic suddenly missing a kidney and chuck's like wouldn't me <laughs> wouldn't me <laughs> wasn't me bro <laughs> oh wasn't me <laughs> wasn't me <laughs> Oh, dude, I think we should go on a roll, man. We should go and have our own little co comedy show. I just mean, you know, instead of one guy up there, you just Cri got crypto guys. comedy. <laughs> crypto comedy. <laughs> what do you call the chart? Straight up and then straight down. Right. Rug pool. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Cardana. Cardana. Miss Cardana here. Um, Royal Q, welcome to the show. What's happening on the Bitcoin? Or are we good long term? Royal Q, you join us two hours into the show almost routinely. And uh, well, we got to work on you. Uh, you must uh, be at work. Or at, let's see, I don't know what time. Zimbabwe is uh, plus seven hours from here, so it's eight. Yeah, maybe you're at work or something like that. Are we good long term? Personally, I think we're very good long term. Uh, short term, I still think we're going to pull back uh, that, that we're hitting that 48 level. Pedro, where, where were you talking about? Just you don't have to go back to it. Just quickly uh, remind us. Yeah, yeah, just real quick. Like I, we're, even though we're pulling up, we're pushing up. I, we're seeing the 
volume just drop off like i mean think about it like this you just had literally fidelity going by a ton fidelity is the the mega megalithic like juggernaut in the industry and you would think that there would be some real pumpage happening and look this look look Beep. right Beep. It, it, in in news today uh royal q Beep. um uh, yeah, I put this thing up. Fidelity bought fifty thousand Bitcoin today, so that that's good. But as as we know, the the market cap of uh, Bitcoin is going up and up and up and up. So, if, uh, you know, it's it doesn't move the market yeah. as much as it used to. Oh, well, it depends. It all depends. I'm about uh, the wars. We were talking about that earlier. Is Bitcoin going to be a flee to safety, or is Bitcoin going to be liquidated because people become afraid? And that's, I like the all caps typing though. Real cute. Yeah, we got we got to work on your uh, uh, cases here and work on uh, uh, social equity or what is yeah. it? Um, digital ed- ed- etiquette. <laughs> digital etiquette. Not screaming at yeah. us here. Stop screaming at me, brother. Yeah, yeah my ears. <laughs> you know, I got good ears, bro. We're good. I got good eyes. <laughs> um, Kidney but, blocker uh, yeah. two thousand. Better get you one or lose one in your sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Kidney blocker. It's so good to keep fucking down. Get you, lose money in sleep. That's good. Um, that's good. Uh, yeah, so I just, I don't. <laughs> no need to apologize, good. real cute. All good. No, all good. Oh, it's good. Just, dude. Just we gotta... just, we're cracking on you, brother. It's all yeah. good. Oh, what time it is? What time? Yeah, is what it time is it where problem? you are, real cute? What are, you, are you UTC plus six, plus seven? I don't know what you yeah. are there. It depends where you are in the country, I guess. I'll let us know. So looking at BTC, I see this. But the back on the back end, I want to talk about Ether real quick because I never really got to it. So Ether is starting BTC to see plus a two. Bit of a, um, we're starting to see some big pump in. So five, so we're five hours ahead. Success. So seven hours ahead. So it is he, yeah, he's it's, it's ten of nine where he is. He he's uh yeah. he's plus uh plus seven from us. Got plus it, two yeah. UTC plus seven from us. So he's one hour ahead of Europe. So it's five o'clock. Six o'clock right now. Where where he's at? No, it's Six ten of p. nine. It's two o'clock oh, here. I'm, he's seven hours ahead. I'm sorry. Nine. It's nine o'clock. I forget because I have my computer set to West Coast time. So, anyways, uh, yeah, Ethereum is showing some my strength there. Set to West Coast time. Oh, it helps with actual zones. So when you're trading, this is one thing that people don't. Ah, we'll talk about that later sometime, sometime <laughs> down the road. Let me get through these charts here real quick. Um, you can see here that the market up here is messing around with certain things. So I, for Ethereum, you know, I, we could get we could go right through this 20-period um, moving average and see, come back up, test the tops. So the only thing is, again, guess what I'm going to say? That I don't trust the volume. You can see here, <laughs> low volume. Yeah, we're pumping. And go figure. Uh, BNB, BNB again. We're tapping into the zone here. We'll see what happens, but uh, we are starting to see some sellers step in and potentially come back down into these lower levels. Um, let's check out XRP. I was just talking to a friend of mine at church. Uh, her son, her husband is all about XRP, and I was like, mm. and like I, you know, I didn't say anything, and mm. so I, I was, hmm, that's that's interesting. Who's XRP? Oh, oh, that's nice. And for the XRP community, my heart breaks for you guys because look, it's just y'all should be much higher. Tell yep. your devs to stop spending and just get out of the fight with good old um, SEC and just start focusing on what you need to focus on. Get your business running, you know, make that money. So um, there you go. We went over Cardano. Check out Doge. Doge. Um, like I brought this up, we, we're seeing some um, decent volume come in in comparative to what we've seen in the past. And I'm, and I'm interested to see. We should see this maybe potentially come up to that 50 period moving average. Um, if we do start to see it push up, um, this is starting to kink down that 50 period. So I'm expecting to see some reaction off that 50 period moving average. We're just sitting at that eight cent mark, eight cents. Um, check a Solana. Solana has been now starting to pump here. We found some support on this. You can see here with Solana, the next spot up here is going to be that 29. So this does continue. We'll probably tap, put in potentially potential new higher high 
and then come back down to retrace. I know, Chuck, you, you're kind of, I've been talking about this coming down, but it's start, it is starting to show some support here. So you can see here it's bouncing off of a previous high that was where sellers were at. Now there are buyers here, so we potentially could push up. But again, and it's decent amount of volume. You know, like that's the other part. It's not, you know, whereas we had low volume as we were moving up here. But now you can see the pick up the last few days where it's decent amount of volume. So we potentially could see a, 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 if Bitcoin does sell off, I would say I would, I'd expect it to come back down and sit in this level here for uh, Solana. Uh, let's go and check out Litecoin. Litecoin. Well, there you go. Litecoin. So uh, <laughs> uh, when it comes to um, uh, Tron, Tron, like I said earlier, right, when we were down over here, this push up of the market putting a new higher high when Bitcoin was putting in the low was really impressive. So um, keeping an eye on Tron here, I want to I want to wait for a retracement back into this level or potential down to this level before I do look to get a little bit more and fill up the bags. Um Again, right here, you guys can sit there and see with uh, Matic. Matic is oscillating. Um, we are seeing a nice little decent pump here, but I would expect to see the pump push out harder with more volume. I want to see more volume like this, right, if we're going to continue up. This is more of just an exhaustion candle of things pushing up to sell off. So I want to see that, but I want to see that type of volume, but down in here, not up here. Right, so that's that's what I'm looking for. We've got some big time moving averages. We got the 200, we got the 50, we got the 89 cent above us. So it's going to it's going to be kind of hard to get through that. We'll see what happens. Dot, same thing from yesterday. Decent amount of volume coming in. Um, look to see if it's going to hold off of this um, daily period here um, of 20 period moving average. Um, AVAX, pretty much it's all the same thing that we went over yesterday. So, Not moving but, much there. Yeah, um, we did have a sell-off with Shiba Inu, like I was talking about, expecting us to see us come up to that 50 and seeing a sell-off, but we couldn't even make it to the 50. We were still below that 8 and 20 here, or excuse me, the uh, 89 and 20 here. So if we can find support on that 100-day period moving average, that's what we're looking for. Got to see support come in off of that. What's the um, uh, what's the the, the shib uh, the other token bone? A bone, 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 bone. Um, there we go. B. Good old bone. Yeah, bone is still like I said. I, I was expecting us to fall through this area here. Um, back here when we pulled it up back in December, and you can see we did. We came up, tested the eight period move or the higher time moving averages, and we're selling off. So it's going to come back put a um, stop right here where I would expect us to put a hard stop from it going up and then continue until we get into these lower levels of that 44 and 43 area here. Um, this is the area in which I do see us seeing a decent um, uh, bounce back from here up. So but we'll still, the money's coming out of bone pretty fast, huh? Yeah. That's what it looks like to me. Uh, Royal Q, someone he says, can someone buy right here now or there? You, you can buy wherever you want, and you make sure you buy based on your own, your own, uh, your own choices. But Pedro, if you didn't, if you didn't notice, Pedro was saying that uh, he expects BTC to pull back uh, a, a little bit re here. So keep an eye on the charts and uh, buy where you are comfortable doing that. Because this is not financial <laughs> advice, as it says right here. Yeah. yeah, not financial advice, but for myself. When I'm looking at these things, when I put in those areas, I'm looking to be purchasing like around the 44, 43 area, potentially. Um, it all depends on when it comes into that zone, what it looks like, right? If, if it's looking like this, as we were coming down, we were kind of ma uh, meandering, Moran, meandering, 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 ne thank you, ne ne no, meandering, yeah, <laughs> like meandering. a river, meander. Yeah, meander, <laughs> meandering down, then expect it to just kind of push through this area. If I see this just drop and it's just one, two or three giant red candles here, yeah, I'm gonna expect this to push up kind of like this, right? You see that right here where we shot up, right? And then consolidate and shot up again in basically two weeks. And see how it meandered down here. 
right? That's what I want to see. I want to see a red, though. I want to see red, giant, boom, boom, come down. And then that means you would want to reverse this, where it would shoot back up. That's what I'm looking at, how it enters into my area here, okay? That's why I always sit there. I like to see something like this, but reversed. A healthy chart is something that uh, does this. Boom, 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 climbs up, boom, 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 retracement. But then you have that. And you can see it meander down, boom, comes back down. So it's just little things like this that are just important to be paying attention to. Um, on the back end right here, I want to bring this up, though. Uh, crow. We, I was so close to my area. I was so mad. Like, I was like, come on down. Come on down. And it didn't get to Look my at that. Crow it got area. closer, ladies and gentlemen. Pedro was close. It oh, wicked, it wicked so almost mad. down to his area. Did you, did you perhaps area. have a uh, limit order in down there? To, to say? I did. I did. I did. <laughs> you know I that thing's so... going to 3 million now, right? <laughs> Just you missed out. Nah, <laughs> nah it, 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 it's petering out here, so it's kind of good. So we had a little push up here. And we'll come back and retest that area. I'll probably start filling up my bags around that area um, with Crow again. And then um, if it shoots down below, then I'll fill up more. But that's one area that I was I was looking at that. And then I looked down, I was like, oh, you come on if you flirt <laughs> you if you little temptress trying to pull me in um <laughs> uh check so. says let's go over caspa so let's spend some uh, uh let's spend some good quality good. time going over that i think chuck must be uh learning the mining uh, part of caspa i bet there we go Ch check out caspa i uh, forget about forgive me about the uh, stuff that's going on in the background over here so again, we, um, we're going through here. I said if we were going to, we needed to get past that 100-day period moving average, which, which was above us. And you can see that it's having a hard time finding um, uh, volume to come in that's going to push us through these moving averages. So it just depends. If the community steps in right, and pushes it through, then we need to see it push through, come back, retest, and then move up. So it looks something like this, Mr. Doctor. Come on, where you at? We want to see something like this. We want to see a push doctor, up. Doctor, doctor, give me the news. I got a bad oh. case of loving you. And then, boom, we want to see that. And it would look something like... You want to see the like, old up, down, up, down, up, down. That's exactly. And that's what we're looking for. Oh, sorry. Let me go ahead and grab the hand. I think... Uh, well, Chuck says need Caspa to come down so miners get cheaper. I don't understand yeah. the the Caspa uh, mining deal uh, whatsoever so here. So this is what I'm looking to see Caspa do. But if it doesn't do that, I would expect it to do this. So boom, go up, and then go down, and then go up, and then potentially come back down. And then go boom, boom. So these are the little areas that I'm looking for to sit there and see if we do move. The key, though, is this, is when I'm looking at it, I need to make sure that I'm seeing decent volume come in. That's really where we need to see what's happening here. My biggest concern is if this does not break through this level here, and then the holders at these levels here would just see it drop. So for people who are stuck at these levels here, then they would just get mad, you know, because crypto people are pretty finicky. Um, <laughs> no, very no, no. at times. <laughs> you know, they're SNL, you know, quick to <laughs> SNL. Um, you know, they want to feed it. Um, and uh, But in the same sense, I look at this going like, if we come back down, these are the years that I want to see. That 50, that 200 day period moving average coming into it, it's really nice. Again, these levels here all have higher time frame SMAs on the weekly and monthly. So like you have your 50 here on your on your weekly and on your monthly, you also have another eight period sitting right below. So these are good indications that if it sells off, there is decent support to come in at these lower levels. So which is good, and that's that's what you want. And we're almost come up to the 20 day period moving average, which is most likely going to be right at these levels over the next couple of months. So I'm going to see how far until we, uh, here we go. Eight. 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I thought we'd have been here. So we got two more months. So come, I mean, re realistically, uh, that we should, the 200 day period average should be sitting about right here. So it's one of those things that I'd expect us to see this um, turn around at these lower levels. If we do continue down out of this range here, we did put in um, on the range on CASPA that these lower lows here, right? So that's not a good sign for it. And then the <laughs> fact is you have all those moving averages above us. Well, it's just, and it's not, you know, it's not the, uh, the nail in the coffin. It's just simply, um, it's a, it's more like uh rolling the rolling the uh uh the tomb and um on jesus um and uh, you're gonna see it roll out one day where he's like bam i'm here all right paul i'm here <laughs> so i always want to say when he's like i'm here bitches um but uh, my brother none of that pontius pilot bullshit i'm back <laughs> dude you know, my people in my church would be like, oh, my goodness, the sacrilegious. But I mean, <laughs> Jesus was a B.A., dude. Like, Jesus was like, man, you know who I am? He was a mad Did pimper you? back then, man. <laughs> Without being a – he was not a – well, yeah, he was he was, he was, he was a dude. He, was, he rolled hard. He was – He had a posse? Yeah. Posse, straight yeah. up. Like, he had his own vision. He, you know, it's, yeah. it's, like, it's like MC Hammer nowadays, man. Oh, well, MC Hammer in no, the 80s, I guess. Yeah, just, <laughs> Can't touch see, this. Now we're dating, uh, <laughs> Can't <laughs> touch <laughs> this. <laughs> All right, why don't you, why don't you hit, uh, hit near up for me here? I'd rather check out near, near. Near, far, wherever. As you all know, we all know Tom loves Celine Dion. Adores. What? Watch this. Oh, oh. His mic is muted, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> muted. Uh, sorry about that, Pedro. Yeah, there's no. Uh, uh, Celine. The muted. last thing I want to do is hear about that. All right, uh, Nier's cool. looking good. Yeah, it's a, it's got a nice little pump. We've got decent volume coming in, as you guys can see. It's been good. I I, so I own seventeen dollars of Nier. Well, maybe eighteen dollars now. It was le sure. left over from a purchase a while ago, um, and I. Uh, Let's see. What's what? Hold on. Let me bring up the uh, the old chart here on my screen. Uh, what date? Uh, let me uh, let me get rid of this. What what date is this that I'm drawing on here? I gotta see here real quick. Give me one. The big drop. Yeah, give me one second. I pull up the screen here. Um, that was um uh, May twenty second or May twelfth. Excuse me. All right, that's probably when I bought bought it, and uh, then I unloaded nice. it. I unloaded it uh, so, somewhere in in, in here and at about about broke even. I was just like, this is I don't understand what's going on with this thing. So I just I, I think I only had a hundred dollars worth or something like that. But for some Here's reason, I didn't hit max sell. You know, I used the do U.S. dollar function instead of the token function, and ended up. I went back later. I'm like, why does this have $17 in this wallet? And I'm like, oh, <laughs> didn't sell all that stuff. That's funny, man. How I almost caught the low there. Boom. Nice, nice. And good consolidation, too. Boom. This right here. That's These people right here are sitting pretty. What is that, 5X for them? Nah, 3X. Still. I mean, in, in three months, not bad. Came all the way up to four. I know it's in at three, yeah, and it's and it's good volume, still good volume at these levels here. Um, see, this is what you want to see. You want to see volume down in this level, boom, and then you see it meander down, and then create a new high and a new um, higher low, and then a higher high, and then a higher low. And yeah, it's a healthy chart. You know, gotcha. Ch Chuck just pi uh, um, piped in and said. Uh, uh, just as a background, just in general with anything that is uh, proof of work mining, if it's profitable, the manufacturers just make miners more expensive. Profitability comes down for a while, equipment gets cheaper. So when they, everything pulled back, go buy those miners. Mm, that's actually, Royal Q says, that. I love that song. Oh, he's a Celine Dion fan. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> he hits me with the... <laughs> I play it when I'm trading. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> at least we've got humor all over the world so here ladies and gentlemen from the southern yeah. part 
of yes. the African continent, all the way, all it. the way to Canada. The the humor, humor transcends distance. It's good. Music, hum, well, most of the time, humor. If everybody can um, fly on the same, you know, because you know, sometimes if you're in different countries, you don't know. Right. But everybody understands a crappy leader, so you just like look at this guy, you know. Um, one thing I, I do not envy are leaders. You know, I do pray for my leaders. You know, I may not like them. I would not want to be them. Just be, I do not want to lead America. Just all I, I would love to do it. I would love oh, to do God. it because I'd be like, I'd be like, fix that, fix that, fix that, fix that. And people would be like, well, maybe blah, blah, blah. like F you or fixing that, fix that, fix that, fix that. And they're like, well, I don't think you could get all that done, Tom. And then I would blame that guy. Like, Go get him. String him up. Off with his head, jail forever. Fix it, fix it, fix it. That would make a good dictator. I was gonna say, president is not what you. Would yeah, be no, like. I, I think benevolent dictator would be the best role for me. Like a, a king that was a nice king, you know. He the bad guys, he's like okay, off with their head, that kind of stuff. Whatever, let's oh, we need better infrastructure. All right, let's spend the money on infrastructure. Let's make people's lives better. Let's let's you know, make make the 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 get to the vacation places cheaper or stuff like that. All the good things in life, you know, make booze cheap, no tax on booze. You know, <laughs> that, it's one of the best things oh, in man. life, you know, but you know how much money like legitly you would lose off of like no booze, no tax booze. Yeah. Dude. The, but people the would be amount. happier. So you'd stay in power longer. I guess you could see that. Yeah. You know, <laughs> Dara man. says striking 2020, 2024. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be his VP here. Uh, <laughs> What's your platform, sir? You. No taxes on booze, guys. Come on, man. We gotta, we gotta yeah, like, right, oh, wait. We'll make good. this equality. Everything's equality now. So no tax on weed either. So we'll we'll just we'll make that safe. Anything that messes makes your mind just happier, no tax on. Well, then why don't you just give us a bunch of fighting people in like one big coliseum and then and have them like oh fight more MMA them. fighting yeah. for everyone. That's just yeah, 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 daily yeah, MMA yeah. fighting, and then two congressmen. You guys got a beef? Settle in the ring. Settle it. Oh, dude, that I would pay to watch. <laughs> I would legit. It would be like hey, the South hey. Korean or Taiwan uh, parliaments or whatever you call them over over there when they. The, Does that really happen? When the guys fight with each other, it, it's awesome. It's. <laughs> dude, I didn't know that. Wait, what happened? Oh, have you ever seen videos in in, uh, in both in like Taiwan, uh, South Korea? Uh, and one other place, they've had some pretty good fights on the floor uh, of their version of a legislature. Legislature. Uh, it's usually when somebody doesn't let a bill go through, and the other person wants the bill to go through. And we all know from watching these things when someone loses their shit like that, it's because they either bribed someone to get the thing done, or they took a bribe, and then they didn't happen, and then they're in trouble with the, you know, the, the goon squad outside. Uh, but yeah, they they come up and they come fist swinging and stuff like that. <laughs> I, M- MMA it. for everybody. I thought it was. I thought it was. I thought striking twenty twenty four. You know, I just didn't think it was real. But yeah, dude. I mean, I think that would actually be interesting to sit there and see, like Donald Trump and um, I don't know who was this guy, the older guy uh, with the glasses, shift Peter, um, Peter, Peter shift. Yeah, seeing those two guys go after each other. <laughs> Striking 2024. I will represent you and be done with everybody's off with their heads. Everyone else, free booze. Or free, no, no booze. Low prices on gasoline, so we pollute the atmosphere as much as possible. We'll get rid of everything that you don't like because it's everyone else's fault, ladies and gentlemen. Vote for striking. Yes. <laughs> I don't know how to stop that. Look, <laughs> Annie, <laughs> keep going. That's awesome. That is awesome. Dude. You know what? That's got to be, dude. That's got that. Dude, I think that's going to cause us to go uh, viral right there. That's that right there will make this us go viral. This has been an extraordinary election. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Wait, here we go. This election is now over. <laughs> there we go. There it Striking goes. 2024. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. Thank you. Speaker, Chuck's speakers are blown. 
<laughs> that was a little loud. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we we're coming to the end of the show here today. We've had a good show. It's got our two hour limit, as as everyone knows. Uh, Daryl says, "I'll vote for you twice." Welcome to Chicago. Uh, uh, <laughs> Dude, that was that was quick. Hey, uh, welcome to Chicago. And uh, we've had a good show for today. Went over a lot of projects. Talk everything from war. And flight to quality and stuff like that. And if uh, my advice to you, I'm not telling you to trade or do anything, is to pay attention to uh, the news about wars and all that. Uh, and if you're, yeah. you know, in the major countries, it's not such a quick, quick action on uh, on, the, on the currency value and stuff like that. Uh, but in the secondary countries, uh, I don't mean secondary countries. I mean secondary currencies in countries. Uh, it, it can move a lot. It can save you a lot of money by by ensuring that some of your funds are in state U.S. Dollar or euro euro based stable coins. Uh, Royal Q, uh, I am uh, certain that uh, you mentioned in the past that your economy now is mostly in uh, U.S. dollars and other uh, solid uh, fiat currencies. So you're you're well aware of <laughs> of currency valuation changes that happen very quickly. Uh, but so the point of today's show was really let's go over was bit is Bitcoin now is it moved from a fanciful hobby trading thing uh, into something which is a uh, um, a flight to quality or a flight to stability flight to safety whatever you want to call it and I would posit that the answer to that is yes ladies and gentlemen it is uh, no matter what the volatility of BTC is um, it, it for most countries of the world maybe not the United States. Uh, or the other OECD countries. For most countries, Bitcoin is definitely a flight to quality. Uh, and even in the U.S., when uh, the, you're worried about the money printer getting crazy, uh, it can save you uh, putting putting something into uh, um, gold, Bitcoin, and other types of things can uh, save you a per- few percentage points. If you're someone that worries about a few percentage points here and there, then it's something to think about. If you're just a run-of-the-mill chum alone like I am here, then uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> Uh, Royal Q says yes. Their economy is very much based on uh, other currencies. That what was the, I forget the Zimbabwe currency that went hyperinflation under uh, Mugabe. Okay, I just can't remember that. Was it a Zimbabwe dollar? The, they probably just renamed it the the Mugabe <laughs> Mugabe dollars or the Mugabe's because he was he was he, he was like Joe Biden in office too long. Too long. Fun fact: I sold some armored vehicles to Robert Mugabe a long time ago in another life. So that's kind of cool. Oh, the, the the armored vehicle, the Zim dollar, right? Anyway, yeah, the old business of the armored armored vehicles was like a, a, des, a despot and dictator, dictator uh, extravaganza. <laughs> Gabon, Equatorial Guinea, uh, Togo, Benin, um, Ivory Coast, uh, Zimbabwe, South Africa. That was. We lost that deal just to straight up corruption. The president's own bodyguards got bribed by a competitor. See your bodyguards get bribed. I mean, come on, man. <laughs> all so all sorts of joyous, joyous places around the world. Anyway, uh, that's uh, that's our uh, that's our show for today. Pedro, before we go, you got any got anything else? No, nothing except for you know, be safe out in them crypto jungles because it's getting nuts out here. Yeah, it certainly is. Yes, the Dare I do have a lot of crazy stories from the old armored vehicle days and selling to selling selling to these things around the world. Either supporting other salesmen or being the sales guy that's in charge of that territory or something like that. It's crazy stories. I've had people shot, blown up, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> but anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of the show today. Tomorrow we'll be back uh with D-Y-O-R dot exchange, uh, the social media or the social trading app. Social, I don't know how to say it correctly. Those guys will have to say it uh, correctly and bring us up to speed on that. Uh, but for Pedro Garcia and I, once again, my name is Tom, otherwise known as Striking here in the digital media world. We'll see you tomorrow, so be there. Be there.